You probably recognize the situation that you're watching a video on Wi-Fi or other limited network and you do have the problem that your video is not running smoothly or even will stop and lose connection sometimes. Well, this could be the limitation of your current network connection which is depending on bandwidth. In this video I will explain what bandwidth is and why we need to know it. This to calculate the amount of cameras or camera streams that we can support over a network. Bandwidth is the amount of data that can be transmitted between two devices in a certain time. Bandwidth is a critical factor to be determined during IP system designs. If you cannot correctly estimate the average consumption, your system will experience significant bottlenecks in bandwidth, leading up to a number of problems such as stream delays and a loss of data packages. Network bandwidth is measured in bits per second and our cameras are transmitting in kilobits per second. So how much bandwidth on a network is needed depending on a large number of factors, like the number of cameras, the type of codec that we're using, the resolution of the camera and the scene complexity. So here let us check and determine how much bandwidth is needed. Knowing the bandwidth of each camera and how many connections are made towards our client host like NVR and your PC and maybe other monitoring devices is critical to define the network bandwidth requirements. In this example we would like to watch and record 4K 8 megapixel cameras and transmit it to several clients. We are using an ac 65 codec and this will give us an average bit rate of 7 megabit per second per connection. But the highest bit rate we can reach is up to 19 megabit per second, depending if the scene becomes quite busy or there is a lot of movement. When we are using a network with a bandwidth capacity of 100 megabits per second and I don't want to overload my network. So how many connections my network can support and how many clients connections I can support? In an unmanaged network like this, normally every connection is built up separately. So every connection takes a significant amount of total bandwidth capacity. Let me give you an example. In this network I connected all cameras to a switch, which are connected to a switch inside my home. From this switch, all connections are made to watch the rooms and Wi-Fi clients. The NVR is located in room, room number 3 and it records constantly all cameras. Using in total 4 times 7 megabit per second and that will make uh, 28 megabits per second on average. But when the scene becomes quite busy, the maximum bit rate can reach up to 19 megabits per second times 4 and that means 76 megabits per second. So let's assume the bandwidth capacity is 70% that makes 70 megabits per second so 76 megabit per second exceeds the maximum bandwidth capacity. Other clients by Wi-Fi or local PC may have problems now and video loss may occur. In this case upgrading your network bandwidth to 1000 megabit per second might be a good solution. We hope this short video demonstrates what bandwidth is and why we need to calculate this in creating a video network and understanding its limitations or possibilities. Thanks for watching.